Hello my dears and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos like once or twice a week. So today's video is going to be all about my best of 2018. I noticed so many people were doing these videos and at first I wasn't going to do one because honestly I didn't feel like I tried too many products out this year but at the same time I like recording this type of video just to see how my sort of makeup lifestyle changes every year and I was just really excited to sit down and film as well. So I figured, what the heck, let's just do this. I also want to note that I will have sort of little clips um, inserted within each product because I did put on a majority of these things today and uh, I don't, I don't have, I don't have any more babbling. No, that's it. So let's just, let's just do this guys. Yes. Okay. So I don't have a primer to mention because to be honest, the year 2018 was like, Pam tries out all kinds of primers and doesn't like any of them. And it's not that I didn't like any of them, it's just I didn't feel like anything did anything to my skin. So like, we're just gonna jump right into foundation. Now I have two I wanna talk about, and one is catered more for the dry skin person, and that is the kind of skin I've got. I'm a very, very dry skin kind of gal, and um, this foundation was absolutely wonderful for me throughout the year, and it is the Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. I used this all through summer, like all through fall. I use it now during the winter. This is all that I have left and I'm contemplating repurchasing this. Um, and the only reason why I'm contemplating is not because I don't like it because obviously I love it. It's in my best of 2018, but more more so it's because I wanna try other things. Like I really wanna try the wet and wild one. The reason why I love this so much is not only does it sit nicely on my dry skin, but it's literally the best shade match I have found in my foundation. Like, like this matches me all the time. It's probably the closest like undertone that I have found in like a medium shade for me and that's why I love it the most. Um, I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary as far as like you know formula or anything like that. Um, the foundation sits nicely on my skin like I said and it wears really really well. I have a wear test and I'll link it down below for you guys if you're curious but it was just the foundation match. Like I have a hard time finding a right color because I am that awkward really awkward light medium shade where I'm a little bit on the light side but I'm also a little bit of medium you know and it's sometimes really hard for me to find a right match so I love that just for the fact that it is identical to my skin tone and the second foundation I want to talk about is the Catrice Cosmetics HD liquid coverage foundation the hype on this is legit like it is so real this foundation really is the best foundation i think on the market especially for drugstore and i read somewhere that this actually has exactly the same ingredients as the fenty um, pro filter foundation i believe it's what it's called i've never tried that foundation and i am so satisfied with this that i'm okay using this for the rest of my life like I'm not even exaggerating. This is the best foundation I've ever used. It's it's one of those like weird, weird things where you can literally cake this on. Like you can go layer after layer after layer until you have the desired coverage and it's not gonna feel heavy or too drying. And I have dry skin and this is a matte foundation and it just never accentuates any of my dryness or dry patches that I have. It just sits on the skin beautifully all day long. And it just, uh, it's just, it's so good. Like I, the only thing that I'm gonna tell you to buy, like go buy it, is this foundation. Moving on to concealers. I have two that I really, really liked. Um, one being the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is a really, really good concealer. It's a wonderful formula. The price is right. They have a million shades, so you'll definitely be able to find one for you. Um, I don't mind the packaging. A lot of people hate the packaging, but I don't mind the squeezy tube and I don't mind this like little brush tip or whatever. Um, this is my second tube this year. Um, absolutely love that for pretty much anything. Today I, today I did only use it to sort of prime my eyelids for my eyeshadow. It works wonderful for that as well. People contour with this, people highlight with this. This is just a staple and I think that if you are a makeup enthusiast I totally recommend you know trying this guy out at least once in your life now my favorite concealer I think of all time so far because I haven't tried every concealer out in the market obviously has to be the Ulta full coverage liquid concealer and this is my second tube of this um, I will say there is one 
thing I don't like about this, and that is the fact that you only get 0 0.08. There is literally like nothing in here, and I wish Ulta, if you ever watch this video, please rethink your packaging and give us more product. Come on, come on. I mean, I would pay like $13 for this, even if it wasn't a bigger tube, because I love this concealer. This concealer is creamy. It's like full coverage. It definitely is waterproof because I have extremely sensitive eyes that like to cry all the time. And even when I have tears running down my face, like my concealer will not move. I love that it's not drying because again, I I have really really dry skin and this just looks really nice um, besides the fact that they only give you the tiniest amount in this um, the shade range could use a little bit of help they did add more shades since I first purchased this um, I think they're now at like 16 shades which isn't too terrible if you think about it for the drugstore but they can definitely use more so overall one of the best concealers, definitely underrated. I would totally recommend it. Um, I always recommend purchasing Ulta products when they're on sale because you can never go wrong with those Ulta beauty sales. I mean, I snagged this one when it was like buy two, get two free. So I absolutely love that. Um, next time they have a crazy sale like that, I'll probably just buy like four concealers to be honest that's how much I like it. Moving on to powders. Um, I've got one under eye powder that I absolutely love and sometimes when I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to grab another powder I do set my whole face with this and I absolutely love it. It is the Essence Brighten Up um, Banana Powder and as you can see mine is slowly Mine is slowly but surely falling apart. I mean, no, no, it already did fall apart. But I absolutely love this. I have a huge pan in the middle of it. Um, probably repurchase this uh, soon. I do like to use up as much product as possible. But this is really, really nice for the under eye. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It doesn't look like I have a white cast underneath. Sometimes banana powder also can darken your concealer this doesn't do that there's no flashback because there's no silica in it and silica is that one thing that absolutely hates you and gives you the flashback but this doesn't do that at all i've used it with my brushes i've used it with a sponge it's just always good like I can bake with it sometimes I even take this and carve out my contour a little bit just to sharpen things up it sits beautifully on the skin it is so finely milled like if you if you do something like this you can see that it just blends right into the skin it's really really nice it's almost like so silky smooth and it doesn't feel drying and it just like I said it's it's wonderful underneath the eyes and I absolutely love it it is probably like the only setting powder it is probably like the only under eye setting powder that I'll probably use for Ever. Now as far as my face, I do like to set it with a powder that's basically the same color as my skin. I don't like using translucent powders anymore because I've been a victim of the flashback for so long. I've just, I'm done with that. And one that I really, really liked this year that I've mentioned a couple of times, I believe on my channel, is the Ulta Beauty Adjustable Coverage Foundation. This is a powder foundation and it's one of those that you can use wet or dry um, depending on how you're using it. But I like to use this, um, pretty much anyway I like to use this as a foundation as you could see I love it I love using this as an all-over foundation for just a really you know easy everyday kind of look I also like to use this on top of like a regular foundation it sits beautifully on top of both of these foundations that I mentioned um, like today since I did go in with a full coverage foundation I did just kind of take a small powder brush and powdered it all over my face just to give me just to sort of like set the makeup even though that foundation doesn't need any setting powder. I like I like to do that for insurance purposes because I just can't leave the house without setting my foundation. It is just one of those things, you know, that you've been doing for so long that you just can't break out of habit. And although when I first apply it on its own, it may look a little bit powdery, I just take a little bit of my setting spray or my fixing spray or whatever and just spray my face with it and it just settles into the skin so nicely. There are days where I'll just put on this concealer and then this little powder on top and I love the way that that looks. Makes me look like, you know, um, I have an even skin tone or whatever. But like I said, over my regular foundation, I love it too. And as you could see, like, that pan is huge. Like, I really, really like this. Like, I've been so sick, I need some water. Anybody else drink like this when they have a lipstick on? 
I do that. Moving right along. Now, my favorite bronzer, and this was one of those things that I had a love-hate relationship with this year, and it's funny because last year this was my favorite bronzer as well. And I'm pretty sure it's just about everybody's favorite bronzer, and that is the Butter Bronzer. They came out with more shades this year, so I was really, really excited because the regular one just didn't quite cut it for me, especially once I moved back to Southern California where I'm pretty much going to be tan for the rest of my life here. And I picked up the darkest one. And at first, this just wasn't cutting it for me, especially when I was super duper like tan. Um, but I learned, I learned that if I used a different brush, and I actually demo, and actually in my demo, you'll see that I used two different brushes. But I learned that if I used a more stiff or compact brush versus a bigger, fluffier brush that we usually use for our bronzers, it packed on really, really nicely. It would chisel out my cheeks. It gives me that bronziness that you see going on right now. So definitely my favorite bronzer of all time, two years in a row. Now as far as blush, I, I was on a weird blush kick towards the end of the year where I just wanted to buy a lot of blush. I was looking for a particular shade. You know like when you're looking for a particular shade of like highlighter or blush, you just like kind of go a little bit obsessive or a little bit crazy and you just buy, 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 buy until you find the right one? Yeah, that happened and now I have a, a decent amount of blush in my collection, but... I just kept coming back to the same one. I kept like looking at my videos and thinking about how I would do my makeup every day and how this blush just was like, I'm just, I'm just gonna use that blush every time. And that is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Feisty. This was something I received in a Ipsy bag forever ago, and it is a small, like, travel size or stamp, what is that? Deluxe size, that's what it's called. It's a small deluxe size, and this is just enough for me, to be honest. I absolutely love this blush. This is obviously what I'm wearing today, and I think, and I think that what it does for my particular skin tone or skin color is that it just makes it look like a natural, like very natural flush. It doesn't look too pink or too peach or too mauve or too dark or anything. It just looks right. Like it just looks perfection for me. Almost just looks like, you know, I'm, I'm healthy and uh, I've got rosy cheeks. So I absolutely love it. I just can't get enough of it. Once I finish with this, I'm hoping that uh, Tarte will still have this and they will have it in a, a much, and obviously they will carry it in a bigger size. So definitely the best and prettiest blush color that I have worn as well as formula. So my favorite highlighter, that one was kind of hard as well because I'll be honest, there were some that I really, really liked and some that I religiously used, but I just, again, the same thing with the blush. That's why there was only one blush and one highlight because I kind of just kept going right back to the same one. And that is the Ofra Rodeo Drive. And as you can see, mine is very old because it's in the original old cheap ass packaging. And even though this was like a 30, isn't this like a $30 like highlighter? Why would it come in this? cheap packaging. When I was really, really light, I loved it. When I'm really, really dark, I still love it. It just looks so beautiful on the skin. It looks really, really pretty if you wet your brush a little bit and then apply it to the high points of your cheeks. Or if your skin is like lightly damp from like a setting spray or whatever, and then you apply it, it just blends into the skin so effortlessly. It makes you look so glowy, like it's just, I don't know. There really isn't words to describe this. This is by far one of the best highlighters I've ever used, hands down. Can't go wrong with this and, you know, I, I'm probably going to assume that all of Ofra's, like, for furniture. What am I thinking? I'm going to assume that all of Ofra's highlighting formulas are kind of like that. They just, just are just always going to look stunning on the skin regardless of what color you use. And that's me assuming that. Um, if I am wrong, let me know. I'd like to know if they do have any fails as far as highlighters. But for me, Rodeo Drive just continues to be one of my favorites and one of the best. What do I mention next? <laughs> God, I'm so stuffy. Have you mentioned brows? No, I haven't mentioned brows. So for brows, there is one that I absolutely love. Um, it's one of those things that I repurchased pretty much every time I went through this little guy and I've actually got another one coming in the mail because I love it so much. It is the e.l.f. brow pencil. It's like their, what is this called? Like, I forget what the exact name of this is called. I'll leave it on the screen somewhere, but it's basically that $2 e.l.f. brow pencil that you overlook every time you're looking in the e.l.f. section of your, you know, drugstore or whatever. But this is just 
the best. Like, this is all I have left. That's why I have another one coming. But I love the color. This is in neutral brown. I love that it is that perfect combination of pigment and wax all in one. If you have a thicker brow such as myself that doesn't need too much defining, too many little hair-like strokes, you'll love this. Um, the spoolie is fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my favorite spoolie only because it comes to a point. It does a really, really nice job at, you know, combing out your brow hairs um, with this particular like formula in it. They won't get like too overly waxy or anything like that like you can keep going and going and going and it's just still gonna look and then I love setting that with the NYX tinted brow mascara I have mine in the shade black which really isn't black it's like a really dark dark brown which is perfect for me and it's also cool toned which is what I look for in my brow products and this is a really really nice formula too holds my brows in place all day um, I don't notice any of that weird crunchiness in my brows it doesn't make them look heavy or just super stiff it just makes them look fluffy and pretty and everything that I look for in my brows so this is definitely my favorite brow duo um, every time I try a new like brow pencil I like it don't get me wrong but at the same time again one of those things I just keep coming back to this like no matter how many different products I'll try like these are just the ones that I kept coming back to over and over and over again throughout the entire year. Now for eyeshadow palettes. Now the moment everybody's been waiting for, eyeshadow palettes. And I have two actually. One is definitely my, the best and my favorite um, from 2018. And the other one is kind of like an honorable mention only because I talked about it a lot or whatever. I'm obviously talking about the Soft Glam palette, you guys. I loved it this. When I first got this, I made so many videos. I dedicated, you know, a whole one palette for a week thing to it. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that week was probably my favorite one palette for a week series this uh, past year because I loved every look that I created with this palette. The colors in here are just absolutely stunning. Like, they're everyday wearable shades. Like, you can literally pick any three shades and you'll have a beautiful, cohesive look. Um, obviously, I'm wearing this on my eyes today. You could see it's it's not very like crazy glam. It's everyday wearable. It's just so perfect. The formula is really, really nice, buttery, soft, soft shadows. If you're not into that, you may not like that particular palette, um, but I love it. Like I said, the color scheme is just what sold it for me because I absolutely love every single shade in that palette. Like there isn't one where I wouldn't touch and I usually do that in some of my palettes where I'll get a palette and I get really excited about it and there's always like just a small handful of shades that I just won't touch and that is one of those palettes that I literally love every shade that's in there. And I do want to give an honorable mention to my Colsta Sense eyeshadows. I talked about this little guy a lot because this last year I think I finally figured out what my dream palette would look like and this is basically what it would be. I love every color that's in here. It's kind of like the soft glam where I've used every single shade. Every shade is top-notch for me. I also love all of the face colors down here. Not everything in here is from Coastal Scents, but a lot of it is, and I just, I absolutely love my palette. This thing lives on my vanity because it's so easy to just open this and use this on an everyday basis. I have a little bit of everything. I've got every color from the rainbow in here, and then all the beautiful neutrals and foiled shades, and it's just, it's perfect for me, and I absolutely love my palette, and you know, like I said, I talked about it a lot this year because I love it so much. I just, I couldn't help myself. I do want to mention one ColourPop Super Shock Shadow because I love ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I love just being able to take one little, you know, Super Shock Shadow and just applying it all over the lid, apply some mascara, and walk out the door. And I did discover this one a little bit late in this year, only because, I mean, the release came out late, so... But anyway, I do love using this color a lot. It is one of the most beautiful, like, Super Shock Shadows I own, in my opinion. It is an ultra glitter, and it is my favorite and only way that I wear glitter, because if you know me, you know I don't like glitter. I hate glitter, and I don't care what people think about me because I still am not gonna like glitter. I don't like glitter. 
at all. I don't like it. It's so messy. I hate getting glitter specks all over my face. So me saying that I love this is saying a lot. Plus, like I said, this is the only way I'm going to wear glitter. And it is the Super Shock Shadow in the shade Cherish. I love this color. It's so, oh my gosh, like look at that. It's so pretty. It's such a beautiful shade. I'm not wearing it today, but like I said, I wanted to mention one of these because I do love Super Shock Shadows. And I'll swatch it for you guys. Oh, it's so... Mm. It's just so pretty. It's like definitely, it's definitely a cool tone brown with lots of like silver glitter in it. And I just love applying this all on its own, all over the lid with maybe just a little bit of bronzer in the crease and that's it. And it just looks so pretty. And you know, if you've never tried any of the, oh my gosh, look at that. It's so beautiful and it doesn't even look like glitter it just there's so much glitter in it it just looks wet like that's why i love it so much and i need something to wipe this with absolutely love that one it's definitely my favorite one because of the shade and because of the um color glitter that's in it and it's so just smooth and beautiful and i'm just gonna sit here and stare at it for a minute move in on i want to talk about a couple of eyeliners that i have here um my favorite I think the best eyeliner I, I've used so far, and I've tried a lot of different ones. I used to use a lot of felt tip eyeliners, but once I tried the NYX Epic Ink Liner with that brush tip, it was like, I'm never going to go back to anything again. It just, it's so nice. Now I will say this formula is a little bit runny, but the applicator is just so good in my opinion. Like it just glides right on and it's very, very like liquidy and black and matte. And that's why I love it so much. And sure, sure. You can make mistakes really, really easily with this one. But if you're steady and calm and hold your breath, like I always do when I apply my eyeliner, you will get a beautiful line across the eye like I've got going on today. Absolutely love this. I feel like I've had it for quite some time and it's not even close to drying out so it'll last you quite quite a bit of time I wouldn't be surprised if I get a whole nother like like five or six months use out of that which is kind of gross for an eyeliner I know but I'm just being real here as far as mascara goes I only have one and it is the lash princess this is like my third or fourth tube this year I believe and I absolutely love this mascara like there really isn't anything like it and I will say when you first get it it might tend to be a little bit on the like liquidy or runny side like it's not as like thick or it, it takes a while for you to coat your lashes like when you get a fresh tube of it I'm not gonna lie but after a while after using it for um, maybe like a few weeks or so the formula starts to dry up just a tad not like dried out like crazy but it just gets a little bit more goopy I want to say and it hugs your lashes perfectly like it just does this thing where it coats your lashes evenly it makes them look even more voluminous than they were and it just it it literally looks like I have fake eyelashes at times like if I wasn't wearing the eyeliner and I was just wearing the mascara with like you know just this eye look you would see that my eyelashes were crazy long and I don't really have like long eyelashes but I love everything that this mascara does and last is this it this is it right yes last but not least lips I've got a few that I want to talk about let's just let's just talk about you know one that i wore constantly and almost like like almost i want to say every video of this year just about every video and that is the elf lip plumping gloss in the shade mocha twist actually you could see right through mine and i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna be ready for another one sometime soon um i really love this this is a really nice formula i love the color um it's a your lips but better color on me because it's just a little bit pinky but a little bit like mauvey um it is a plumping gloss however the plumping sensation kind of just feels like when you get a little bit of toothpaste on your lips you know and it just feels a little bit tingling like that's about as plumping as it's gonna get so it really doesn't do too much as far as that but it doesn't feel like horribly uncomfortable or like you know 
painful or whatever. So I love it. The color, like I said, is so great. The price is right because everything else is affordable. Um, the doe foot applicator is nice and skinny and it's a little bit long and it has sort of like a, you know, what is this? It curve? It curves up, whatever. So it's really easy to get in on the Cupid's bow and to line the lips with, even though it's a gloss and you could just kind of like you know and still look fine but um the wear time is decent it is a gloss so it's not gonna last all day obviously um it's not sticky glides on the lips beautifully when you uh, press your lips together you don't feel like your lips are gonna get stuck together or anything like that um they come in different colors, I believe, but the Mocha Twist is just by far the nicest color I think I have found. Um, I do want to mention one liquid lipstick, and this was the year that I sort of stopped wearing liquid lipsticks because my lips are just too dry for them, and they have a lot of like fine lines, and I just didn't like what, how liquid lipsticks would accentuate those fine lines, so I stopped wearing them. But nevertheless, my favorite liquid lipstick of all time is still and always will be the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in the shade Give Me Mocha. Um, it's actually time that I purchase a new one because this is like three years old now, but I love this. I love everything about it. The color, um, I love the doe foot applicator. I love the formula, the shape, the size. Like, It's a very, very comfortable matte, and I'll be honest, I haven't worn that color in a long time because I do need to replace that one. That one is old, but I still love it. Like, Even when I wear it, I look at my and I think like this is still like just the nicest nicest liquid lipstick at the drugstore and my most favorite for I'm getting kind of stuffy again now I've got two lippy sticks and if you know me I love lippy sticks lippy sticks are my favorite everything I love the matte and the matte X formula the most only because I do like a matte lip I just don't like the crusty feeling of a matte lip so if you don't like liquid lipsticks but you still like a matte look Look into the lippy sticks. The lippy sticks will change your life. Not only is the formula so good, but I love the size of these. Um, I also love the white packaging. It is the only color pop packaging that I don't think rubs off like everything else does. Am I right? I love this bullet style lipstick because it's smaller, so it's easier to like outline your lips with. Um, it just lasts all day. Like you can eat drink and you will still have these especially the matte x formula like that one is just so much better like so much better than the matte and even though i like both like i will always look for a matte x before i go into the matte and i do have two that i like in particular that i mentioned lots and lots of times on my channel here um the first one being taurus and that is a matte formula it's a beautiful beautiful like neutral brown and I think it just looks so beautiful on me and if you don't like brown lipstick um sorry I love brown lipstick but I really really like this color it just looks so nice it glides on as you could see it's not totally totally matte but it will look you know like you're wearing matte lipsticks so, and then like I said matte x is definitely my favorite my favorite one this year was definitely Ziggy and this there's a reason why this one is a bestseller and that is because it is a beautiful beautiful terracotta color and these matte x ones like guys they glide like butter like they're so incredibly creamy and so incredibly soft like and this is legit matte like it's not gonna look a little shiny like the other one does like it'll just be matte and I love how this feels like it is one of those things that you literally don't feel anything on your lips like it's so incredibly comfortable I absolutely love it and then the last lipstick I want to talk about is the ColourPop Lux lips in the matte formula again I love everything that is matte however I don't like that drying feeling so the fact that they release these you know <sighs> thank you so much ColourPop now this formula is a little bit different than um, the matte X this does feel grainy when you put it on I'm not gonna lie but it's supposed to feel that way to sort of smooth your lips out and I do notice that it does that because like I said I have a lot of little fine lines in my lips um, I am kind of like a weird lip biter like I'm constantly like biting my lips and that's why I never wear lipstick you guys in real life anyway this Lux lipstick is in the shade money moves I absolutely love this shade this has a similar feel as in it's gonna glide like butter it's right here by the way it's gonna glide on like butter it actually looks a lot like that you know I, I just 
I tend to go for the same color over and over again. This particular formula does really glide on. It definitely smooths out. Even on my skin, I mean, you won't be able to see it, but even on my skin, I can tell that because it's a little bit grainy, I don't know what is in it, to be honest. It sort of smooths everything out. I see a little less lines than I do in like the Matte X formula in this one. It's just going to glide on your lips really, really nice. Another one of those that's going to last a decent amount of time, even through eating and drinking. And I am the kind of person who does not like to touch up any part of their makeup. I don't touch up my face, I don't touch up my lips, so once it's gone, it's gone. But I do find that those last long enough for me to, you know, go throughout the day with eating and drinking and I'll still look fine and, you know, feel fine. It doesn't feel dry, it feels like weightless, like you're wearing absolutely nothing on your lips. And there have been times where I forget that I'm wearing lipstick when I wear that one and I will like, you know, just like bite my lips or tug on my lips and completely forget and end up with lipstick all over my face. Like, that's how weightless they feel. Like, I forget that I'm wearing it. Anybody else do that? Tell me I'm not alone. So overall, these are my favorites and I'm seriously hoping that this video isn't 20 majillion, 20 majillion? 20 bajillion years long. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I am feeling a little bit awkward because I haven't filmed in a long time. The last time I filmed was with my sister, so I had somebody to like converse with and now I'm just kind of like sitting here in my bathroom like talking to myself or talking to a camera, talking to myself. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and spread my love for makeup, and I will see you guys maybe this week, maybe next week, I don't really know, but uh, you'll see me around. Okay. Bye-bye.